Hey y'all, Autorama 2013, and I got uh, Bob Millard, he's the uh, promoter of the show. And anytime I come into a new show for myself that I'm shooting for the first time, I always like to get a little bit of history. If I can interview the promoter, I do. And, uh, you know, he's one of the top in the nation. He's a, this is a big, big show. Um, so anyways, uh, Bob's agreed to give me uh, just a few minutes, tell me a little bit about the history, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So give me just a second to get it set up. Bob, how are you, brother? Good. Good. I'm tired. Tired, yeah, 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 yeah. I can only imagine. When do you have to start to get this show up and go? Obviously, the day after it closes. That's but correct. when do you get Cobo Hall and start, you know? We actually start to move in on Tuesday. We take the building over on Tuesday. And we mark the floor and get our big trucks in and all that. But we start bringing in cars on Wednesday at noon. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and how long has the show been going on? This is the 61st year. And the, there's a winning award, the biggest award in the nation, uh, right? Don yes, Riddler. The Riddler Award will be, uh, uh, it's in its 50th year. Wow. We'll present the 50th one uh, Sunday night. Tell me a little bit, so many people not know, tell me a little bit about Don and why this award is named after him. Well, Don Riddler was, uh, he was a, uh, like an innovator in, in the early 60s. Don was involved with the show and brought in like the movie stars and uh, soap opera stars to attract more people than just the cars. Kind of took creative. it mainstream. Huh? Kind of took it mainstream, got yeah, it out there in front very of. creative. He'd right. come up with all kinds of new marketing ideas to make the car shows what they are today. And he passed away in 1963, and Bob Larrabee Sr., that ran the shows at that time, decided he wanted to do a special award for him, and that's where the Riddler Award started. Cool. So he wasn't a builder or anything. He just no, was a promoter. not at all. He was a football star from Mich Michigan University and, and that kind of thing. And he was just a, he was a big promoter. I got gotcha. you. He was a PR guy like that. And, and besides all the accolades and, the, you know, that of boys that come with winning the Riddler, what, what do you get any cash? Is there anything that yes, goes on? Yes, $10,000 cash prize for it, plus a special Riddler Award. And this year it's in gold. Uh, there's actually, uh, I think it's a quarter or three-eighths ounce of pure gold on the Oh, no kidding. It's sitting right behind you right, right. now. But, um, oh, it's down there on the end. Yeah, no, it's right there. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, we'll get, yeah. A clip, we'll get a clip of that. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. How many cars do you uh, do you expect? In this show, there will be count in the basement about 910, 920. And, and I just found out about the basement. This show's so big, yeah, it's hard to cover it up. lower level we're supposed to call right. it. Yes, it's the basement. <laughs> but that's more uh, maybe rat rod, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, traditional cars. We started about eight or ten years ago when this uh, theme seemed to take off in the right. country, and it's been a big success. We'll have 250 cars down there and about 700 cars on the main lot. Cool. And what do you, let's say that, uh, you know, obviously your big builders know how to do it, but to the guy out there, what do you have to do to try to win the Riddler? I mean, do you have, can well, you the just... the Riddler Award has certain rules and regulations, and the biggest rule is that it cannot ever be seen in public in any form, whether it be on the TV, whether it be on the social media, whether it be in a magazine, it cannot be seen as a full form of the car. Okay. So when it appears on this floor, it's the first time the public would ever see that car in any True kind of unveil. Way. Yes. True. So, so is that... that was another thing that was done at the beginning to bring new cars to the show. Right. We knew, always knew we'd have a new crop of cars if guys came for the Riddler Award. And that was a brilliant idea. This year there's 52 on like four. No we'll kidding. separate it by two or three o'clock this morning, we'll have it down to eight. And how, do you, how do you do that? Out of it's all really these gorgeous tough. cars, how do you do that? It's what really makes tough. the difference? Well, we judge the car or look at the car in five basic areas. And one of them's uh, uh, body and paint is one, and all the body modifications. The engine compartment is two, the interior is three, the undercarriage and suspension is four, and the overall appearance and design of the car is five. And do you assign so many points per category? Yeah, we try it. We either do that or one serious problem in a big category will take the car out. Right. Uh, but we try and use a, I don't like to use the word points because we don't like to use points. We don't want points to decide over the guy's mind what is the best I car. I got you, I got you. So he evaluates one car against the other. And, and the first 10 or 12 or first 20 probably go out of the 50 pretty fast. After right. that, you got to start weighing this one to that one. And this one's got a little better paint. This one had a little more body work and things like that, you know. So, and, and I had heard, maybe it's a rumor, maybe it's true, but a bigger car will, again, we're talking about points and I don't want to, but it'll right. score more points than a smaller car. It all depends. Uh, we don't want to say quantity is more than quality. Quality is the most important thing. And there's been a lot of times a high boy car, you look at some of these old cars in here that won, and it isn't the size, but if it is, if you had two cars that let's say were 99% cars, 
and one of them was a lot bigger than the other one, right? Uh, the one that was bigger would win. So all things being equal, the size will would matter in the if end. If you had a sedan car with a full interior against a roadster with two seats in it, no right. top on it, and things like that, right? The bigger car would win if they were that close. If yeah. they were both 95, I understand. To that that makes sense. Yes, that exactly. makes sense. That makes sense because you could spend more time and detail on something smaller than something larger. And if it's all the same level, then yeah, that's yep. what it looks down to. Mm -hmm. So this, is, but the show's strong. I mean, oh, yeah, it's gonna have great. a great turnout. It's man. gonna be real nice, and uh, it really. Look, we were, we we were really happy when we saw the entries coming in. We're very happy the way the floor's coming out already. It looks great on the floor. And is is Autorama the only show you all do, or is there other shows? No, no. Uh, the company that owns Autorama is Championship Auto Shows. Right. And they own 15 of the. We have 30 some shows in the ISCA system nationwide, and Championship Auto Shows owns 15 of those. Shows. And if people are interested in getting out to those shows, is there a website they can go to that tells sure. them dates? they can go to the ISCA website. It's called theisca.com, or they can go to Autorama or worldofwheels.com, and they have all the information on all those sites. Cool. Bob, first of all, let me thank you so much for the access you've given me this weekend. I'm having a ball, Good. and I couldn't do it unless it's you like let me do it. It's like the candy store. Yeah, it? That's the problem is, is there's this, you get pulled away, you get sidetracked. Right. Like, you'll be heading for a car, and then something catches your eye, and, and you're well, gone. We should mention that we have a 23 of the first uh, 49 winners on display right here in the front of the old Riddler cars, of the past Riddlers. Right. And we have the first, we have four of the first 10, and we have eight of the, I think, seven or eight of the last 10, plus some in between. But there's Do you have the first there. one? First one, of, yeah, is Al Birdsworth's Dragster. Oh, okay. And it'll be sitting right here in that corner. It's got to do a cackle fest in the morning outside, and then we're going to put it right there in that hole. What's a cackle fest? That's when we'll set him. Uh, he's got a funny car, too, plus right. a Dragster, and they're both Hemi Nitro cars. Right. We start him up and cackle and let him sit there and blah, 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 blah. No kidding. You, know, you do that right out. down on the main street? Yeah, we're going to do it right out in front of the building at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning before the show opens at noon. It'll be on three different television stations. How cool is that? Yeah. Then we're going to roll it in the back door and put it in a spot right here in the front door. Man. Again, Bob, thanks so much yeah. for the access. Great show. I want to tell everybody about it. So, again, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. We sure. enjoy doing it. Yep. Okay. Folks, there you go. There's uh, there's Bob telling us about it. Let me run over here real quick and get a uh, clip in this. That's this year's Riddler Award. And it ain't joking. I mean, that's an award everybody would want. And then it's like a NASCAR trophy or whatever. It's got all the past winners on it. It goes all the way back to 1964. So, there you go, Bob Millard, Detroit Auto Rama 2013. Starting to fill in, awesome show. Um, you get a chance to get out to this. Man, this show is where there's just, there's just too much too much to see, you know what I'm saying? It just you could you spend all day here, plan on spending all day here. So anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See ya.